AACO operates uh, about 13 sites across Queensland and we operate a number of cattle stations and feed lots for the, for the national and international markets. Over the last 12 months, AACO has really worked to uh, improve on what's already been a, an exceptional return to work culture. The underpinning feature of that has been the implementation of our rehabilitation packs, which are designed to accompany injured workers to uh, medical appointments to facilitate early and sustainable return to works. That's been really good in terms of building relationship with doctors and being able to assure doctors that we do have alternative duties available and that we are very interested in supporting our injured workers. Along with that, we've also set up uh, preferred medical provider arrangements with local doctors for all of our 13 sites. We've also held a number of education sessions for injured workers, managers and senior management as well. And we've really tailored those sessions to the needs of those specific groups. We really believe in a, in a culture that supports the injured worker from the point of injury until they return to work on their normal duties. We really involve uh, the injured worker, the, the treating professionals, the site managers, senior managers and of course the rehab return to work coordinator and work cover as well. So we really believe in, in a process of really involving stakeholders to ensure good outcomes. At AACO we also offer access to a free employee assistance program which is offered via email or phone or face-to-face uh, -face in recognition of the geographical barriers that sometimes exist in relation to communication and, and receiving that support. So we ensure that all our injured workers are, are given details of the AACO EAP program so that they, if they do feel supported during what can be a very difficult and challenging time. The enhanced communication and the real involvement throughout all levels of the organisation in rehabilitation systems. The real work that they do at site level around managing injuries. The involvement of injured workers in their own rehabilitation, their commitment to participating in suitable duties and also the commitment of our site managers who overcome some very real challenges in terms of living in rural and remote areas to ensure that people do return to work and that they do access really good, um, excellent healthcare.